In a scathing Chicago Public Schools Inspector General report obtained today by CBS2. And here's the thing we've reported on the coach's questionable business practices two years ago, but the report shows he didn't change his ways. CBS2's Tim McNicholas has learned the man was even rehired by CPS. It's no secret Chicago Public Schools need money. They make extra cash by renting out their pools and gyms to private clubs when students don't need the facilities. But a new Inspector General report says a high school swim coach leased a CPS pool off the books to clubs and kept the money. The report doesn't name the coach, but court records show the coach was Andy Paro of Whitney Young, and he's now facing a felony theft charge. CBS2 investigators first reported on Paro in 2016 when he got a great deal to use the pool for his own use. The inspector general says the principal and assistant principal allowed him to pay just $1.20 an hour for his own private swim club to use the pool, costing the school more than $580,000 in unpaid rent. The new report says after he was caught, he resigned his position as a school security officer but kept coaching the swim team and later returned to CPS as an hourly employee. After that first investigation, the inspector general got more tips and that's when they learned the coach was not just using the CPS pool for his own club, he was running it out to others too. After that first investigation, the inspector general got more tips and that's when they learned the coach was not just using the CPS pool for his own club, he was renting it out to others too. Investigators learned from 2013 to 2016 he had pocketed nearly $30,000 in rental payments he collected, essentially stealing money that should have gone to the school. Not only that, the new report says the principal, who is Joyce Dorsey Kenner, was either complicit in the coach's scheme to profit from his use of the school pool or willfully turned a blind eye to his dealings with outside groups. The report says one of the groups even told the principal and assistant principal they had rented the pool directly from the coach. And at least one of the deals even happened while the coach was already facing discipline. The report says Paro agreed to stop doing business with CPS, but then hosted a private swim meet at Whitney Young and made $715. And the principal and assistant principal discussed the matter prior to the event, and they allowed him to proceed with the event. That report says the school board gave the principal a five-day unpaid suspension, but the report doesn't say when that happened. It does say the inspector general recommended serious discipline up to termination, in part because of the principal's history of allowing private club teams to profit from the use of the school facilities. Paro is now fired, and the board admits in that report that Paro should have had a do not hire notice in his file after the first investigation when he was caught skirting rent. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. CPS would not answer our questions on this, but did send a statement saying the district takes these matters seriously. The IG sent its report to the state's attorney's office, which led to the theft charge. Paro has pled not guilty and is due in court later this month.